Happy Halloween, pen pals. This is Tom with Gold Spot Pens, and today we are here again with your top five pens of October 2019. So let's take a look at the month that was in the world of fine writing. Okay, so October's been a little bit quiet on the channel. We've been really hard at work with finishing up the 2019 annual magazine that is due to arrive in homes around the middle of November. So if you've ordered from us in the last, like, let's say year, year and a half, you're pretty good to probably get an issue yourself arriving in the mail. And if you haven't, or if you haven't ordered from us before, I think now's a good time to look to sign up and get yourself a copy as soon as it comes out. So we'll have a limited amount on hand that we'll send out to customers and orders in the, let's say the last part of 2019, early part of 2020. But if you'd like a copy mailed to you, uh, there will be a link in the description notes below on how you can do that. So here's my quick disclaimer about this list. These top five pens are based on sales, likes, comments, and reviews on goldspot.com. It isn't my favorite personal top five list or greatest of all time list. This is a list that is created by you, the fine people of the online pen community. At honorable mention, we have a Diamine ink vent calendar. This is a new, something that has never been released before by any major pen or ink manufacturer. A lot of people have come up with their own system of, let's say, an ink vent calendar using samples and whatnot, but Diamine's the first to actually create a standalone piece that operates as an advent calendar of which you could pull out bottles of ink every day during the month of December leading up to Christmas. Every single color in this box is completely bespoke and completely new to the Diamine ink range. So each door that opens reveals a seven milliliter bottle of a new ink that's holiday themed. The various colors like peppermint, and candy canes, and you know, uh, Christmas trees and things like that. Um, there's a full list on goldspot.com so you could actually see all the ink names on there. Um, you'll get a great idea, of course, what the colors look like when you actually open them up and try them out. On December 25th, you've got a 30 milliliter bottle of Christmas Day special Happy Holiday ink. So we started selling these at the beginning of October and these have been going like crazy. People are getting ready for the holiday season by purchasing this and getting ready so that you could start opening up the doors come December 1st. And also because there was only 1400 of these made. And I know we have a little bit left, so definitely if you're interested in having a little fun during the month of December, get this before they all sell out. At number five, we have Surprise, it's a ballpoint pen. And not only is it a ballpoint pen, it is a pink ballpoint pen. This is the Parker IM Premium Metallic Pink Ballpoint Pen. And you're saying, why pink? Why ballpoint pen at number five? Because we ran a special promotion to support Breast Cancer Awareness Month where we gave hundreds of these pens away for free when you reached an order minimum of $49 or more. We gave these out with the intention that to spread breast cancer awareness or that let's say you could use it as a gift to give to somebody uh, or to a charitable foundation uh, to use in let's say a gift basket or to use as a promotion for a uh, walk. Um, you know, anything that could be related to uh, breast cancer awareness that this pen would fit pretty appropriately with wearing pink or supporting uh, the various efforts that go toward uh, spreading awareness or helping cure the disease. This ballpoint pen uses a Parker style type refill, which is a fairly ubiquitous sort of refill. It's a quink flow Parker style ballpoint refill and has a spring that's inside there. So you definitely don't want to lose a spring. And it has a fairly solid metal barrel that has slight impressions of engraving that are along the length of the barrel here, kind of like a geometric sort of pattern, lots of little rectangles that are here and whatnot, and has a pretty satisfying clicker mechanism that you could certainly become uh, a, a very acquainted to quickly and fidget during meetings and whatnot. And of course has this iconic Parker clip, uh, that Parker arrow clip with the little uh, fletches of the arrow and the, the the arrow point that's on here. It's a nice pen. 
and definitely for a free pen, it's certainly a nice uh, little addition that we like to provide every once in a while as a special gift for our customers and show our support for this worthy cause. At number four and returning to our list are the Narwhal Piston Fill Pens. This is the Poseidon Blue and there's three other colors of this edition and they've been going pretty nicely uh, throughout the month of October and since we've also restocked them back in September as well. They are a, of course, like I said, Piston Fill model. They are made out of solid acrylic and with a little bit of trim work in metal here and a little bit of metal on the clip. The fairly solid writing instrument for a great price. Uh, stainless steel nib, number six size stainless steel nib with a plastic feed and only available in fine point but a lot of people do say that it does write like a wet medium sort of point size like a European wet medium. Definitely something that you should check out if you do appreciate a nice swirly acrylic pen that has a nautical theme. Like I said there's three other colors besides the Poseidon blue here but uh, you could find them all at goldspot.com and be sure to look out for those crabs when they do come back in. So at number three on our list is the Dark Lord of the Sith. We have the Darth Vader limited edition Cross Peerless 125, which is quite the large pen. And it has something that a lot of people will find familiar with, which is a sailor nib because it's kind of known that cross peerless pens have a sailor nib and not just a, any old sailor nib it has a sailor 18 karat gold nib on there which puts this at a premium level in terms of uh, pen construction is concerned and pen quality of course this is a limited edition of 1977 pieces worldwide Initially, when Cross had obtained the Star Wars licensing agreement, they had made a version of a Darth Vader limited edition in a Townsend model that had a Cross 18 karat gold nib, Townsend nib of course, that was one of the best-selling Townsend pens that we had. It was just, it went out really quick. It was also during the release of A Force Awakens that had come out. These new uh, Darth Vader and also the other Cross X pens, um, which are not limited editions, are being released in conjunction with the last movie, The Rise of Skywalker. So we started to receive the Cross Peerless 125 in the Darth Vader this month and have been quickly selling them to collectors worldwide. The uh, appeal of this, of course, is the theme and they take the 125 body, it's, it's kind of like a lacquered metal material and it has an impression, kind of like an etching of the Darth Vader mask and also of his bodysuit details. And then you'll, you'll also see as a detail on here too, you have the Imperial insignia and also Star Wars. And then at the very top of the pen, at the top of the cap finial, you have a, a Swarovski dark ruby crystal that's on there. So that is really uh, a nice luxury type of finish that you could look down at your pocket and be able to see that pen and just see that right, like that blood red sort of look on there. So this pen fills by cartridge or converter. Both are included in the box. It's underneath the platform there. And it's a cross proprietary cartridge or converter. But like I said, it is a sailor nib. So we could expect that sailor nib to write in a very precise, almost like a high grade precision pencil. And it is a medium point only. So you could expect it to be more of an Asian or Japanese type of medium where it's going to be on the finer side and it's a little bit on the drier side too. This is something though that is more for collectors and people who are Star Wars enthusiasts that also like fountain pens. And definitely is worthwhile to take a look at before the entire edition sells out. At number two on our list is the latest Retro 51 limited edition tornado popper called Creepy Scrawlers. This limited edition is Halloween themed. Of course, you would expect one to be that it's released in October. And it's designed by the illustration firm Invisible Creature, who basically took a Dr. Seuss-like approach to illustrating monsters around the cylindrical barrel of this pen. And it is also a glow-in-the-dark edition. So if you charge this up in the light and then shut the lights out, you would see all of the white areas would then glow in the dark, which is pretty cool. And also the finial wood as well, which has the invisible creature 
uh, sort of moniker or logo that's on top of here. And this edition is limited to 1,313 pieces worldwide, significant to the number of 13, like Friday the 13th, that sort of thing, and has black stealth matte trims, which looks pretty nice and kind of goes along with that sort of uh, dark theme. But it's dark, but it's fun at the same time. So uh, this is an edition that we are currently selling on goldspot.com and has not sold out yet, but definitely jump on this before it completely goes out because you know with these Retro 51 poppers, once they're gone, they are gone for good. So returning as the number one champ for October 2019 is the Pilot Vanishing Point Tropical Turquoise Limited Edition for 2019. This pen is seriously one of the most awesome looking vanishing points that I've seen, aside from, let's say, the ombre effect, uh, twilight, or the crimson sunrise. This tropical turquoise is quite the stunning pen and certainly has been well received by the pen community, uh, by collectors. People are raving about this design and saying how it's a refreshing take, a departure from last year's cross lines, which was a little bit on the conservative side, but certainly was well appreciated. We've been swapping, if you guys are interested in anything but the medium point, because that's all it comes with is an 18 karat medium point nib. If you're interested in any of the other point sizes, like extra fine, fine, even a 1.0 millimeter stub, you can ask and request that on your order form because we still do have some of these available. So uh, we would expect that they'll probably be available from now until maybe like, let's say like the later part of November. But then by that point, I think we'll probably be done with it. And swapping the nib is pretty easy. So you don't actually have to take apart any part of the pen other than as you would normally to do to refill it. Um, we would take out this particular section here with the converter and swap it out with the other pilot vanishing point nib sections that we have uh, available that we sell separately usually on goldspot.com. It's a fairly easy swap and we do it for our customers because we know that you guys don't want to just write with just medium points. You want to write with a whole bunch of different point sizes. So sure, definitely go for that and uh, be sure to get on this before they are all gone, which would probably be, like I said, at the end of the month. So that does it for your top five pens of October 2019. What to expect in November? Well, we have, first of all, Fountain Pen Day. Of course, is the first Friday in November, which happens to be November 1st. Get your pens out, get your pals, go get to a meetup somewhere, or go to the Ohio Pen Show, which is going on this weekend, and geek it up, just like, post pictures of your pens, uh, write something in it, post it, post on like your Facebook or Instagram feed uh, with your handwriting, write a ton of notes to coworkers. Really just get out there and be a pen evangelist and let people know that writing instruments are still a thing out there. People think that they just went and disappeared after the cell phone came out. It's a great way of just being able to get the awareness out there and just really enjoy and find that community of like-minded individuals that enjoy writing with a fountain pen and talk to them about nib sizes, talk to them about ink color choices. It's just a fun day to kind of really just dive into it. And I mean, with all the other holidays that are out there as, you know, faux holidays or whatnot, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's harmless to enjoy in a holiday like fountain pen day. I mean, there's other worse addictions, right? to quote the pen addict, of course. Also, we have November is the start of NaNoWriMo, which is short for National Novel Writing Month, uh, which is a challenge to write a 50,000 word first draft of a novel during the month of November. So break that down, that is a lot of pages per day to catch up to that total amount of 50,000 words. And you know, kudos to anybody that's going to even try to do that because it is just like crazy to like imagine. I tried it once and I gave out, I think by day 11 or, or so. And I, I just, you know, November is a busy month, but if you have like, let's say like a couple hours of time, you know, towards the end of the day, you put the kids to bed, crack out some of your pens and, and start writing. And, and even if you just like write three handwritten pages 
day, like a morning pages sort of thing, you might be able to spin that into some sort of memoir. So you also have uh, Veterans Day, which is on November 11th, and usually we do like a military discount if somebody reaches out via email, phone, or Facebook message, and we kind of provide them their own little special thing, uh, you know, after they're verified as a as a member of the military. But we'll be doing something special site-wide uh, for Veterans Day, so definitely take a look for that and sign up for our email list to be notified when we do have that sale. Of course, we have Thanksgiving on November 28th, and I am thankful for my brother-in-law for hosting this year because then that means a lot less cooking, a lot less cleaning for us and our family, and we could go to enjoying what I like to enjoy best, which is eating pie. And of course you have Black Friday and then your Cyber Monday, but then that's of course in December. But, uh, but Black Friday, of course, Goldspot will be doing special things. So keep an eye out for that. And also keep an eye out for new exclusives and limited editions that we're expecting to have this month. The best way to be able to find out about these is to sign up for our email newsletter. Of course, stay tuned here. We want you to subscribe here, of course. But if you go to our website and sign up for our email notification and our email newsletter list, you'll be kept up to date on everything as it comes in. So any new limited edition, any new gold spot exclusive, you'll be able to see it first on there. And of course, we'll do our videos on here and whatnot. Thanks to all of you who support Goldspot Pens by liking, commenting, and placing orders on goldspot.com. And as always, stay inky, my friends. Take care.